How's it going, everybody? My name is Clash, and welcome to what will be the first few episodes here of my Let's Play for Skyrim. Now, guys, I am super stoked for this game, and just to put things into perspective, when I got home earlier this morning from the midnight release for Skyrim, I popped the game into the disc tray, downloaded it onto my Xbox, and from that point onward, for about four or five hours, I just could not put down my controller. So, that is definitely a telltale sign that this is going to be a phenomenal game and a very enjoyable Let's Play. So I just wanted to take a moment here to thank all of you for tuning into my channel and deciding to watch this Let's Play and enjoy the game, experience the game alongside me. So, now with that being said, I did play through the first few hours mostly to get a good feel for the game and uh, figure out what kind of play style I wanted to utilize going forward with this Let's Play and uh, in addition to picking out my race and all that stuff. So we're squared away with that. All I need to do is uh, pick out the things that I want for the race that I'm going to play as so we don't spend like 10 hours in character creation uh, just trying to figure out what I want to use. So uh, one last thing, I know some Let's Players will do like just the main story or do a couple side quests and that's it, you know, like a solid 50 or so episodes. But for me, I'm going to try and do this game in its entirety. So expect a solid 300, probably more episodes for this Let's Play. Like, I'm thinking 400, 500. Who knows? It's a huge game, and there's lots to do. Going to do all the main quests, obviously. All of the guild quests, and all the DLC that comes out in the future. In addition to all the miscellaneous side quests, and all the exploring that there is to be done. So, it's definitely going to be a fun time, and it's now time to get this going. Go ahead and press start. New game? Yes. Gotta love that Skyrim logo, man. Dragons? Like, come on. It doesn't get any more beast mode than this. And I think this is Alduin right here. And the scrolls have foretold, the black wings in the cold, that when brothers wage war, come unfurled. Alduin, bane of kings, ancient shadow unbound, with a hunger to swallow the world. Song of the Dragonborn. <laughs> that is... That is badass right there. Dual wielding potentially doubles melee damage output, but prevents any kind of blocking. I'm down with that. I don't give a crap about blocking. I'm good for kicking ass and taking names. So we're gonna get this uh, this opening sequence here. Bethesda Game Studios presents. Oh yes, presents. Gotta love this. Like this is probably my favorite uh, opening sequence for any Elder Scrolls game thus far, to be honest. All right, looks like we're waking up out of some kind of uh, stupor. We got our asses knocked out, and it's time to wake up. The Elder Scrolls Five. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait for it. Skyrim. <laughs> oh man, guys, I'm so pumped for this. This is going to be ridiculously fun. Alright, so we got Boromir over here. This could be Boromir if Boromir was a little bit blonder. And this guy has got like poop smeared on his face. He looks very sad. Why are you so sad, bro? Alright. Guess we're in a wagon. And we're prisoners. Hey, you. You're finally awake. Sup? You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. That's not true. I wasn't trying to cross the border. Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. <laughs> if they hadn't been looking for you, I could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. This guy, stealing horses. You, there, you and me. We shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. Hey. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Oh, Narnia. Ulfric? The Jarl Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? Probably a place to kill us. I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. I think that's the afterlife. This can't be happening. This isn't happening. Oh, it's happening, bro. Shit's going down. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be at home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Tully is sir. The headsman is waiting. Oh, to nose. Good. Let's get this over with. General Tullius. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Not typical. Praying on your deathbed. Of course. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Yeah, those douchebags. 
All the old elves are sons of bitches. For some reason, they always get blamed for everything. I don't know why. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Sounds tasty. Funny. When I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Not anymore. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? Oh crap, it's a kid. You need to go inside, little cub. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. You want to watch us die? What's wrong with you? Yeah, stupid clown, get inside. Yeah, you always start out as a prisoner in these games. It's always been a theme for the Elder Scrolls. Why do you think? End of the line. Pretty much, we're dead. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Well said, Rayloff. Oh, oh come on, dude. Don't be beach. You've got to tell them we weren't with you. This is a mistake. <laughs> Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. Empire loves their damn list. I know, right? Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Yeah, dude. Nice cape, a robe. Rayloff of Riverwood, A.K.A. Boromir. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. They're about to. Halt! No, this is making a run for it. Oh no, Archer. Feel like running? Wait, you <laughs> step forward. Sup? Man, that guy made a run for it. He like face planted. We got shot in the bow with that arrow. Who are you? I am Santa Claus, but for real. Uh, it was definitely kind of tough to figure out which race I wanted to be. For this let's play and one of the things that i noticed is that you don't necessarily have to choose whatever race is best for your play style and you know that i think that's one of the things that the uh that bethesda was trying to do they're trying to make it so that you could pick any race and do almost any play style with that race sure some races are better for some play styles more than others but uh you can do whatever you want you know you can be versatile so uh, what i'm gonna do is be a khajiit because in this game the uh the Khajiits look freaking badass. Like, the graphical improvements, like, that's one of the big things that I love uh, about Skyrim. Like, all the faces look way less ugly. So, <laughs> that's always good. So, let's go ahead and uh, modify our guy here. Let's go ahead and buff him up a bit. Not too buff, though. I don't want him to look, like, tiny from that Crash Bandicoot series. That would not be a good thing. Alright, so dirt. I guess we'll dirty him up a bit. Dirt color. What the hell does that even do? We can make it, like, brown dirt. We'll just stick with the... First setting scars. Don't know about scars, but uh, this some of this war paint looks pretty freaking awesome. Makes him look like a leopard or a cheetah or a uh, jaguar, I guess. This one makes him look like a tiger. Eh. Oh, I like that one. That one's like a bat wing. That is badass. Let's see. That one looks pretty good. That's just like a random pattern, but that that looks kind of cool too. Hmm. That's like a spot over the right eye. I don't know. I think I have to go with the uh, the bat wing. That one's. Definitely the most beast, the most Rambo. All right, war paint color. Let's see what we got here. We can make it red. Eh, I think I'm gonna stick with the solid black. That works best for me. Nose. Don't really care about those settings. It's not a battle and a half to make my character not ugly in this game, thankfully. Uh, eye color. Let's see. Get some choices here. Eye shape. That's like angry face right there. That's a sad cat. That is a very awake cat. Some big eyes. All right. And I think I like this one the best. We'll just go with that one. Eye color. See if we can have slits for pupils or whatever. That one looks sinister. That is just... <laughs> that is kind of scary looking, to be honest. Uh, ooh, I like that one. It's like green or blue. That's like white. Maybe yellow. Can't really tell. Uh, that red looks a little bit too scary. That's yellow right there. I think this is like white or silver. I think I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, I think that looks the best. All right. Don't care about this stuff. Eyeliner color. All right. Can make the eyes stand out a little bit better. I like that. About this. I'll keep that where it is. Eye tint. Oh, there we go. Sweet deal. All right. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. Now the eyes are kind of a little bit... A little bit more 
what's the word? Present? I don't know. I just want our guy to stand out. I mean, we're gonna have like 300 parts for this Let's Play, probably more, so want our guy to be unique and all that. Uh, brown mouth, don't really care about that. Hair, here we go. Can we get a mohawk? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I'm a cat with a mohawk. That is badass. All right. Here we go. This is what I'm rolling with. Can we make the mohawk, like, uh, white? Well, that looks pretty good. Hmm. Well, I think the black looks a little bit better. And that's, like, grayish, kind of. See, we can make it red, 